Hello, I'm John Cena, doing my best Lance Russell, and welcome to Wrestling Support. At C Cox 3484, interesting. Would love to hit someone over the head with a folding chair, like they do in wrestling matches. How does this person always end up being okay? That's a fair question. Here's the honest answer. The people aren't okay. It is a steel folding chair and you get hit with it. It hurts like a swarm of killer bees devouring your soul. It hurts when you think we get up and we're okay. We're not. Bruises, breaks, tears. We are trained professionals and this is our job to actually do this. I don't know why anyone would want to do it for recreation. So leave that stuff to us. Next, at Libs93. I wonder if John Cena still owns this costume. I never owned that costume. I didn't own the wig, I didn't own the gold chain, I didn't own the jacket. It was lovely. I wish I had because I would walk around most of my days with this. I think this is one of the most attractive photos of me ever taken. Whoever does own this costume, if you are in the business of renting it, I, I have some money and I, I may, want to, may want to rent it for private or public time. Franchise, creatively spelled with a PH, 19. Who currently is the best wrestler in the world? Well, we're in a business of accomplishment and championships are the height of that accomplishment. So right now I would say uh, a combination of Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, Brock Lesnar, and AJ Styles. Those are our four top tier champions. They are the four best in the world. At Get To Be Fit, John Cena with exclamation point. What is a revenge tour like? I've never heard of it before. I did see it on the WWE website in live tour. What's that? God bless. So after a big event where you have a very important match, there are winners and there are losers, but we never stop. Our, we have our Super Bowl on Sunday and we don't take an off season. We have a, a television the next day. So then we go out on tour and call it a revenge tour, which if you were a loser in that important match, it's kind of like you get another chance with not as many people watching. At Han Wong, my roommate and I drew you. Do you like it? Please respond. I do like it. The proportions are realistic. The shape of the skull and the attitude as a smile on my face in, in both occasions, that's also realistic. And it seems as if I have a, a mason jar in my pants on one of them. So I frequently walk around with a mason jar in my pants. And uh, they were very realistic to that as well. At M. Lee Heeren, why the dudes on wrestling have no body hair? It's so weird. They are so shiny and smooth. Yeah, it's a turnoff. Too metrosexual. Well, the laws of attraction are different for everyone. Technically, there is a reason for no body hair. If you have long leg or arm hair, someone can grab it. And picture someone grabbing your hair, which is why I keep my $6 fade the way it is. That shit hurts. And if you're covered in oil, People can't grab you, which is why guys tend to wear small outfits as well. Now you can be as judgmental as you want, but when you're in the thick of it and someone is trying to break you in half, you want to have every single advantage you can. I have found an advantage in 90s fashion, and I don't use oil, but I do manscape from the eyebrows down. I wear jean shorts just because people are scared by the very presence of a grown man wearing something from the 90s. Veloxaraptor. How do WWE wrestlers even get hired? Do they have to show up in costume and give their audition directly to Vinnie Mac? That would be Vince McMahon. People have different paths. How was I hired? I was sought out by WWE recruiters. I was wrestling in small town flea markets and uh, outdoor barbecues in front of minimal people and was seen and someone said, hey, would you like a chance at, at wrestling in front of larger crowds? To which I said, absolutely. But for different folks, they have different paths. You have people like Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey that have been successful in other ventures and have found their way to WWE. So it's different for everybody. Has there ever been an audition where people show up in costume and talk directly to the owner of the company? Absolutely. At TJ Hunter 90, what age is appropriate to use your son to practice WWE moves? Hashtag SRS. If you have a son and you are thinking of using him to practice your WWE moves, I would suggest leaning more towards counseling as a parent instead of asking me that question. At F80 Fries, how do wrestlers come up with their wrestling names? For example, Seth Rollins. You would think that that's his real name, but it's not. My process was very complex. You see, the name John Cena is not my real name. 
My name is Dick Hammerbush, and it's a very difficult government name to use because of the connotation it provides. So in thinking of a fake name, they thought of John Cena. Simply eight characters, two syllables, throw some trumpets behind it, and it just works. Why don't I use Dick Hammerbush? Because that is just not who I am. I'm John Cena. At BlueMD. What's it like in a cage match? It's like trying to escape a cage or win a match at the same time. At TFC Hooligan 69, <laughs> I prefer TFC Hooligan 68 OU1. When one is training to become a wrestler, how beneficial would it be to you as a wrestler to also study a particular martial art? I'm going to say beneficial, but not for the reason you're thinking, because studying a particular martial art will also expand your horizons. You also get a good awareness about how the body moves. And the principles of basic martial arts, they kind of give you stuff you can take with you outside of the mat. So yes, all good, but for reasons different than you may see. At the Highwayman 84, wonder which one he likes. At Seth Mates, what is it like to work with Vince McMahon? What is he like as a person? He is unbelievable. It's fantastic to work for Vince McMahon because he demands the best of everyone who he works with. And I say with because you are treated like a part of the family. And he demands the best, and that's one thing, but he gives you his absolute best every single day, and that's another. It's been an honor to sit under his learning tree for almost two decades. At UTT Rob, what is the most dangerous move in wrestling with this emoji next to it? They're all dangerous. I think the most impactful one ever designed is a move that I've created that I did not think would catch on. Where it's simply where you wave your hand in front of your face and say, you can't see me. Now I know out there the wrestling purists are going to pull their hair out, but think of this, my friends. Has there ever been another performer to wave his hand in front of his face and be given an actual superpower? Think, think to yourself, how many times you've seen on your precious internet pictures of myself and another human being and you write comments of like, but there's no one over your shoulder, Rob. How did you take a picture with John Cena? This has made me invisible. Top that, anyone. So Interweb, I always love chatting wrestling, WWE, and sports entertainment with you. So uh, I'm John Cena and thank you for watching Wrestling Support.